All right. Uh, I'm going to skip the true and false for now. We'll make that later. Um, that's not going to be on your test, so I might not even make it. Um, it just, we'll see if I've got time today. A car going 88 uh, feet per second, which is about 60 miles per hour, brakes to stop in 12 seconds. The velocity is recorded every three seconds, and we're going to use the trapezoidal rule to estimate the distance traveled by the car during that 12 seconds. So, what we've got is we've got a whole bunch of trapezoids here. Um, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, four different trapezoids. Um, and what we're going to do is, if you remember, we have this nice little, um, of all of the trapezoids, we have this nice little formula where, if you remember the trapezoid, okay, formula looks like this. You've got the two bases uh, being added together, cut it in half, then you multiply it by the height. Now, all these trapezoids are kind of flipped over on their sides, so you'll notice that every one of them actually has a height of three, okay? So at the tail end of our, we can actually put it in the front because multiplication is commutative. We can put it right in the front. We know that the, the height of every one of those um, trapezoids is going to be three, okay? And we know that we're going to have to cut it in half, okay? So what we'll do is we will add the base one plus base two every single time. But if you notice that you've got 88 plus 54, plus 54, plus 36. And so like what's happening is that these middle guys get doubled every time. So what we've got is we got 88 plus two times 54, uh, plus two times 36, plus two times 12, but we're only gonna add the zero once, not that it matters, okay? So just remember with the trapezoid rule, and you've got a little small table here, these guys get added twice. Now this is a, you know, you could calculate the each one individually, but this is kind of a shortcut here. And I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what all this is here. And uh, I'm gonna do the inside first here. Two times 36 plus uh, two times 12, all right, plus zero, um, divide by two. Multiply by three, okay, and we get 438. Okay, so the total distance that it traveled was 438 feet. All right, okay, so that's the trapezoid. Now, if you wanted to, again, you could calculate these one by one. If you forget this nice little setup, it's totally fine. And as long as you're careful, you'll get that. All right, now, <clears throat> um, we're kind of in an interesting situation here because it doesn't specify left or right sum. And um, you're going from 0 to 15, and they just want, um, they want the definite integral here from 0 to 15. They want the area under the curve. So one of the things you can do, especially if they said estimate, is that you can basically just count the size of your boxes okay so if each width is three and each height is one each one of these boxes is going to be three times however many boxes you have we're actually going to use that strategy down here too because we don't have an equation to take the antiderivative of so this is total estimation and let's just count and see if we can kind of get now again this is an estimation so we can see um I'm going to go ahead and actually check off all the boxes that are completely full. Okay, so this is a, f here, let's just start low. This guy's got a little bit of area chipped off here, so I'm not going to count him, but I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So I've got 14 full boxes, so already I've got 14 times 3. Um, whatever that is, that would be my area. But what I can do is I can kind of estimate here um, how many more how many more boxes that would actually fit under the curve. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and count this guy as 15 right there. This these two together are going to be 16 because this area is maybe close to that. This guy's almost a full one, so I'm going to actually count these guys as 17. Uh, these two together, definitely 18. Um, this looks like it's like 19, but like a little extra if I include, so maybe 19 and a half. Okay, and that includes that little bit of extra in here. So I'm looking at like 19 and a half. All right, 
So again, if you were off by a half or maybe even off by a full one, I could kind of understand because you can just count. There's nothing else to go off with. So I'm going to basically say that I've got 19 and a half uh, squares here and each, well, actually technically they're, they're rectangles because they have a width of three. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna, not going to do this in my head because it is early Sunday and I've got 58.8. All right, and we don't even know what it's measuring, but we do know that that's the area, 58.5 uh, square units. All right, okay. So this one is kind of the same thing. We're gonna actually count these guys. And um, what we've got is we have some, each width here is one, but these guys are being measured in miles per hour, and this is in seconds. So this is um, a pain in the neck, really, to think about, um, but what we'll do, is we will just look at, um, well, what we could do is actually convert miles per hour to miles per second. You could do that. And then that way you can just go ahead and, um, um, you know, figure out like what each of these is like right off the top. Um, so miles per hour, um, what do I wanna do? Let's do that. Let's convert it to seconds so that this is second and that is second. Because again, we're gonna calculate what all of this is. So when we say 60 miles per hour, what do we really have? Um, we're going to go ahead and do um, uh, one mile per hour. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and convert this to miles per second. So one hour uh, is 3,600 seconds. So that's one over 30. 600 uh, miles per hour okay so what we want to do is that if this is 10 of those okay each one of these we're gonna count how many there are okay and um, we're going to multiply uh, by this and yeah we'll just see what happens so let's count um, let's see, we've got, in each one of these has a height of 10. So each one of these squares is 10 because it's up 10. Yeah, it's got a height of 10. All right, so um, here's the full ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I'm gonna call that one 22, 23, 24, and that's pretty close. Um, we're gonna call that 25, we'll call that uh, about 26. These two together would be 27. Uh, those two together would be 28. Um, these two together, 29-ish. Uh, and uh, maybe add these guys, you got 30, 30 and a half. Okay, so we got 30 and a half, 30 and a half uh, squares, okay? And they're 10 high, so 30 by 10 equals 300, uh, well, 305, right? 305, okay? And 305, 305 times the velocity, or you know, that miles per hour, okay? And what that's gonna give us is the miles per second. Oh, that's miles per second. And those are basically, that would be miles. Okay, so 305. 305 equals divided by three. Okay, what does that equal as a fraction? I don't know. Let's uh, check. 61 over, well, that's pretty close to 60 over 720. That'd be one, one twelfth, five, no, no, it wouldn't be. 12 would go into both of those. But anyways, um, what we've got is 0 0.08. Uh, four seven. All right, so how far is that? 
That's the miles. Okay. All right. Um, these are strict derivatives. I'll stop there.